Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to upload a book to StreetLib. From your dashboard, you click that ribbon icon at the top. Um, there are other things that say create ebook, create print book. You want to click that ribbon at the top to take you to this page. So this will allow you to actually upload your existing EPUB file that you've created from Smashwords. Again, I tried to go through one time and create my own EPUB here. It was a little difficult to manage, a little difficult to figure out. Um, so then I realized what I was doing is reinventing the wheel. I already had an EPUB file from Smashwords. I did not need to go in and redo everything. Um, here I am looking at the pre-sale details that StreetLib is giving. Each system has their own way of asking for how you want to set up your pre-sale, so it is good that they have that readily accessible. You can read that anytime. If you ever have questions of this is the sale date, this is the release date, uh, each of these platforms should have a link to show you that. So as you can see, I dragged and dropped my EPUB file in, and what it's doing is it's pulling all the information from the EPUB for me. So it is pulling in the um, title, it is pulling in the cover. So a lot of things are already coming in that I did not have to fill out because it was already there. So that was the benefit of dropping in an EPUB file. You are already telling um, the system what it needs to know because it's, that data is saved as an EPUB file. So here again, I already have my other tabs open just for ease of use in getting that information in there. You're gonna have to enter it multiple times, so I find it easy to already have it there. So here I'm putting in my details for the keywords that I want to use. You'll notice I do different spellings like self-publishing as two words, self-publishing separated by a hyphen, how to self-publish, self-publish. Um, and that's just because I know people are searching for different items and if they use an exact phrase search with quotes around it, I still wanna be able to show up. Okay, so here's where I had read the details about the pre-order a couple second, a couple minutes ago, and now I'm able to put in the details. It's asking me for the print corollary, so I'm adding that as well. Um, again, all the detail that you can give to really make sure things are syncing up is ideal. So this is asking for collaborators, volume numbers. I didn't have that, but it is in there. Again, because I uploaded the EPUB file, it is just giving me everything all at once. So I didn't have to manually upload the image for the cover art. I didn't have to manually upload some of the details that you're seeing populated in here. So that is a benefit to working with StreetLib is that when you already have the EPUB file from Smashwords, uh, you can just do that. So here you can see I'm scrolling through and picking my categories. You've seen on the other videos for Author Your Ambition, each system has their own way of showing you these categories, but a lot of them are very similar. Um, so if you one works on one system, you probably want to search for that same keyword on another system. Again, there's no illicit content in my Author Your Ambition books, but because it is about writing and publishing a book and effectively setting that up as a business, it's not really meant for children. Um, it is meant for people who are starting a business, and those are usually adults. So that is why I put that there. All right, again, I'm double checking everything with the pre-sale questions that they're asking for here because I want to make sure that it can go on sale as of the date that I was uploading it, but that it will be released the day that uh, it's released globally for the pre-sale. They already have the preset prices. That makes it so much easier. Now here is where I am going to select every retailer and I'm going to manually uncheck the ones that I already have access to either directly through KDP, which would be Amazon or through Smashwords. So with Smashwords, I get access to Barnes and Noble. I get access to Overdrive. I get access to Scribe. So I don't necessarily want to be here again. I have direct access to Google Play because I'm on Google Play books. So I don't want that to be in there twice so I can manually uncheck those. So that is very helpful. Um, and I always make sure I am protecting my rights for my book. And they allow that to show up there with the watermark, which is very nice. And then I'm gonna hit save. And that is how you upload your book into StreetLib. So it's fairly straightforward and fairly simple once you've gone through it a few times.